Round goes the Alfa Romeo of Valtteri Bottas, not facing in the right direction. He's got many podiums here in his history, but uh, he has found a moment at the exit of turn one. 1.2 from fastest to slowest, Nick De Vries suddenly bringing up the rear. That's actually tighter than the Formula 3 and the Formula 2 grid, and they all have identical cars. <laughs> so modern Formula 1 is on the short tracks delivering a relatively close performance. But of course, you know, the guy that wins the 100 meters uh, final is probably only a half a tenth quicker than the guy that finishes fifth, and no one remembers who finished second. Logan Sargent does an identical lap time to Valtteri Bottas, and they're both in the drop zone thanks to Esteban Ocon. Russell is 15th. Is there anyone improving behind? I think it's only Nick de Vries who's on a flyer. Magnussen couldn't improve. Now Nick de Vries, currently in 20th. Can he find a step forward? Can he find a great lap? No, it's 20th position for Nick de Vries at the moment. It's Russell v Bottas for the final spot. Here we go on board with George. So George Russell, round turn nine, named for Jochen Rindt, and we go to turn 10. He's fighting the wheel a little bit. Stroll's gone over the line in 11th, and Russell cuts the beam to go up to 10th. Can Bottas take a step forward? Both Alfa Romeos are out there at the moment, trying to find an improvement. Yuki Tsunoda finds himself in the drop zone, thanks to a late lap that gets Valtteri Bottas through. That's one Alfa. How about the next one? Joe Guan Yu does improve his position, but he's heading out at the first hurdle. Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Magnussen, and De Vries as Russell caught that lap that he needed, and Bottas makes it through by two hundredths of a second. One lap for all of these guys to find a bit of time. The margin's so close between the top and the drop zone. There's only half a second now between Verstappen and Stroll, even. So you've got to push as hard as possible, yet not go over track limits. It's a knife edge for everyone. He improves to 10th position, but that is not what he needed. Surely won't be enough. Everyone behind him is improving, including this man who goes second. That drops Russell out in Q2, and there's more improvements coming in. So Perez finds the lap that he needed, we believe at the moment. All of these laps over the line take them with a pinch of salt, but it looks all right for Esteban Ocon. He's currently in the drop zone. Can no. find it? Went wide. Where it goes wide in the final corner. And so up to seventh position, only on the tone page. Checkered flag will be out now. And it's step forward or go home. Alonso up to sixth. He was about to be on the uh, on the bubble there, but managed to find a better time. Hulkenberg's got a lap that gets him in. And the driver at risk is Pierre Gasly. Stroll delivers ahead of his teammate. We haven't seen that much this year. Only once in qualifying has he been the lead one. Bottas goes over the line and Perez's time! Perez's time has been deleted! Unbelievable for Sergio Perez. How has this happened for him? Three flying laps, all easily quick enough to be in the top three, and yet they're all over track limits. He's a little wide at the apex. He just didn't need to be doing that. He was flying on that lap. Be a little bit more circumspect in the final corner. It was okay on the way in, but he has just nibbled over on the way out, and he's done. Here's the way that the French driver went out in the second part of qualifying. I think this one wasn't particularly close. He's wide at the apex coming in there, and it's still close. It's still but close. It's not as close as some others. Going out, Russell, Ocon, Piastri, Bottas, and the main headline, Sergio Perez, who the last time he was in the final part of qualifying was Miami. Defining stuff now for Verstappen. That is easily within track limits. Final corner. Yeah, that's within it as well. So clean lap for Max Verstappen across the line. Time to beat a 104.5 for the rest of the field as he goes to the top of the page. Now, Charles Leclerc in the middle part of the lap. That's a surprise. The infield where Verstappen is usually fantastic. Sainz has gone into second place. Leclerc, winner of the Grand Prix here one year ago. Charles Leclerc over the line, and he can't beat Verstappen's time. He's two tenths of a second away. Norris, a star of qualifying so far. P4, what can Alonso do? Has never been in the top four here at the end of a Sunday. He's fifth in the order. What about Hulkenberg, who's been a star of one lap pace so far, but he is ninth in the classification. Is there an improvement out there for anyone in the field? Charles Leclerc, two tenths of a second away. We've seen that surmounted in the past. So Verstappen will know that he needs to take an edge forward. He needs to take a step up.
Max Verstappen with a personal best in the middle sector as he looks to claim his fourth pole in a row and he's 26 in his career. It's within the white lines. It's rapid once again. Max Verstappen improves by a tenth of a, a, tenth of a second, a 104.3 for the championship leader and two-time champion. And it would have to be a storming lap to get on terms with that. But Sainz is in the ballpark. The final two corners will have to be mighty. Alonso has gone P3. Hulkenberg goes into seventh position. Stroll goes ahead of his teammate. Great effort from Lance Stroll. Out qualifies his teammate for only the second time this year. What can Sainz do across the line? Sainz goes to the front row, past his teammate, but Charles Leclerc in the middle sector is 100th up on Max Verstappen's time. It's been Leclerc, oh, he's on the edge again. It's Leclerc Perez or Verstappen on pole this year. Can it be a second pole this season for Charles Leclerc across the line? No, he's missed out by a tenth, half a tenth of a second. All in, on the edge once again. And the top two separated by four hundredths of a second as Hamilton claims P5. It was tight, it was tense. But guess who? It's Max Verstappen with his fourth pole in a row. He's 26 in his career. Leclerc gave it everything, but it's a 104.391 that's good enough for pole, and he will start Sunday's Grand Prix from the front of the field. What well up, Max? Pole position, mate. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, good, good one. Nice. Absolutely brilliant qualifying. I did wonder when Verstappen was going again, did he really need to do much of an improvement? Yes, he did. Otherwise, he would have found himself not on the front row.